Breaking news. Canadian police finally arrest Amaka Stoneberger, who threatens Nigeria on TikTok. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got here this morning. As our headline for this morning says here that breaking news, Canadian police finally arrest Amaka Stoneberger, who, recent, who recently threatened Nigeria on TikTok. Well, Amaka Stoneberger has been arrested by the Canadian police for threatening Nigerians on TikTok. Well, the Guinness Media reports that the police in Canada have arrested a woman in connection with an alleged online threat targeting specific specific members of the Nigerian commu community. The incident, which was reported to Canadian authorities by the Nigerians in the Spora Commission NIDCOM, is currently being investigated at a suspected hate-motivated offence. Well, according to police report, the incident began on or about August 25th when the suspect allegedly posted threatening content online. Law enforcement officials say that re they, they received a call on August 28th regarding the threatening incident and swiftly initiated an investigation. But on Sunday, September 1st, 2024, police arrested a 46-year-old Amaka Stoneberger in connection with the online threat. Stoneberger has been charged with uttering threats, a serious offense under Canadian laws. She is scheduled to appear in a Toronto court on Monday where she will face the charges against her. The Toronto Police Services has confirmed that the incident is being treated as a suspected hate-motivated offense. If convicted, Stoneberger should face significant legal consequences. The police in Canada have arrested a woman in connection with an alleged online threat targeting specific members of the Nigerian community. Well, in, re in the incident which was reported to the Canadian authorities by the Nigerian Dispura and Commission, and according to the police report, the incident began on about August 25th when the suspect allegedly posted threatening content online. Well, <clears throat> the Toronto Police Services has also confirmed that the incident is being treated as a suspected hate-motivated offence and if convicted, Stromberger could face significant legal consequences. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline today this morning, which says here that breaking news, Canadian woman finally being arrested by the Canadian police who threatened Nigerian on TikTok. Well, if, if I move on, don't forget, if you want to subscribe, but the best you can do right now is to ta um, tap that subscribe button here with the notification bell so that anytime we have any new video concerning any of these latest news you'll be the first to get notified about it well we nigerians me and you yes me and you we all know um amaka stoneberger the woman who came on online on tiktok recently saying that she's going to put poison in any edo or yoruba um, person to see in canada she is going to poison them because of the heat that they have concerning the Igbo people of nigeria she's an Igbo person of she's an she's a she's a, a, a nigerian but a canadian based citizen She's an evil person, like, and she says that she, she will do this because of the hate that the Yoruba and Edo people, are, that the way the Yoruba and Igbo, Edo people hate Igbo people, and she says that if she sees a Yoruba or an Edo indigene in Canada, yeah, she will take poison from her working place and poison them and make sure that she dies. And this, believe me, sparks a lot of comments online, sparks a lot of fears online, and it reached the attention of the Nigeria, um, the NIDCOM, yes. The Nigeria in diaspora, it reaches it, it reaches their ears, and they have to take legal legal actions concerning this. They all they, they and they the 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 NIDCOM the Nigeria in diaspora they commit they reported the case to the Toronto Police Department like the Can the Canadian authorities. But this woman also threatened the Nigerian government saying anybody that also reports her will face severe consequences. But these people did not fear. They reported her. They reported her, and after weeks of searching for her, people like um. Peter will say that we Igbo people we should not even look at her that she she's not she, she's not acting like an Igbo indigene. That Igbo person although we know that the Yoruba and Edo people hate us, so we, we will not post such a threat, we will not post such words online. That this is not even helping helping the matters that is already happening in the country. This will not solve the insecurity problems in the country. That that was what Peter will said just to cool down the temper. Even the organizer in the Igbo says here that she's not of Igbo that um, that they've disowned her. Yes. Because they, they, they did not say that message, you can't be talking all this type of trash online. Yes, we know that they hate us. Yes, we, we know that they hate us. And also are trying to generate peace where there's no peace. So stop um, adding fuel to the fire. Stop adding what? Fuel to the fire. Well, after a long of searching September 1st, 2024, 
this woman has been finally arrested by the Toronto Police Department and they said she's going to go to court and concerning all the charges that the, the Nigerian diaspora alleged against her concerning hate speech and <laughs> hate speech and threatening a group of people online. Because she actually meant she, although there is no case of this woman actually killing anybody, but that speech alone that speech alone well concerning what the toronto police uh, department told us they said they, they have confirmed that the incident is being treated as a suspected hate motivated offense which is true it's a hate motivated offense although she has not done anything it's just a hate motivated offense that she just comes online and say i hate you i will kill you this and that this and that this and that well she has been charged with uttering threats that is all it's not it's not as serious as it is well let's not forget the um the Prime Minister of Barafia, Simon Epa, saying that he's going to defend Stomburga at all costs, that no, but like that he's going to defend her legally concerning the trade that she says to Yoruba and Edo people. We all know that Simon Epa was drunk when he was saying that. Mm, yeah. Well, Stomburga has been charged with uttering threats and it's a serious offense under Canadian law. Under Canadian law, it is a serious offense. And she's scheduled to appear in a Toronto court on Monday where she will face the charges against her. Only God knows what they could do for her, whether or how many years in prison, just to come up on TikTok and say that he hates a particular group of people and k feels like actually killing them. Well, I, li I, I really think that this news right now to bring peace to the people's mind and the, the Yoruba people's mind and the Edo people's mind who are actually living in Canada because they're already afraid that somebody, a serial killer, is already after them because of what? Because of the, just the hate. Because of. Some of them do not even hate the Igbo people just because of their, what, what, the sins of their forefathers. What do you guys think? What, what do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as a big red on with the notification bell. So that anytime I have a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.